Hello, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I'm also sick with a cold. So I have been sick all week with a cold. So I apologize in advance if my voice is raspy, if I sound congested, my nose is so sore from blowing it. I literally used a box of Kleenex in one day. That is how this cold has impacted me. I have been pretty sick with this cold for almost an entire week. So I apologize in advance for the raspiness, but I definitely wanted to hop on and share with you how my week went overall, my weigh in for the week, and talk with you about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. I do a weigh in video every single Friday. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, because like I said, I do a weigh in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. Highly recommend having your macros and calories done as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come over and join us we would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's hop into my week, my way in and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. So like I mentioned, I have been pretty sick with a cold. I came back from my trip to Atlanta on Tuesday and by the time I got home from boot camp on Friday morning, I wasn't feeling very well. And that has translated into this Friday and still not feeling very well. What was interesting is I felt like it got worse before it started to get better. I know that there's quite a few colds going around. For me, it's been mainly congestion. Like I said, blowing my nose constantly. I don't have a cough. I have a bit of a headache. I did have a sore throat for a short period. That went away. Luckily, I haven't had a fever, but I just haven't been feeling very well overall. I've been very, very fatigued and tired. And like I said, blowing my nose constantly. My poor little nose, she's so dry and red and sore. I'm hoping that I'm at the tail end of the cold because besides just not feeling well overall, I also wasn't able to get in all my workouts this week. I took Saturday and Sunday off because that's when my cold first came into play and I was not feeling very well. And I really wanted to rest up in hopes that I could go to boot camp on Monday. Now I did go to boot camp Monday morning and I made it through my workout, but it was tough. It was tough to make it through my workout. I went back to boot camp on Wednesday. By Thursday, I was back to my normal workouts, but I didn't, I don't feel like I got as much out of my workouts just because lack of energy and just really truly not feeling very well. It's also really impacted my sleep because I'm so congested that I have to breathe only through my mouth. I can't even breathe through my nose that I wake up multiple times during the night to blow my nose, to try to relieve some of the congestion. It's been a lot. It's been a lot since I've been back from my trip and I have not been sick in I don't know how long. Definitely not since we lived in Arizona. I have to say I'm pretty bummed out to have a cold. Nobody has time for a cold. I have a lot going on and I, in fact, I'm doing a 5K with my boot camp group tomorrow. So I'm really hoping that I wake up feeling better and can make it through this 5K. It's a super fun Valentine's Day wine themed 5K. I'll definitely post pictures on Instagram and in my Facebook groups. Fingers crossed that I wake up tomorrow morning less congested and can make it through this 5K. Because I'm so congested, it's affected my taste buds as well. I can't really taste a lot of food, so I've been not enjoying my food this week. Unless it's super spicy or super flavorful, I have a hard time even tasting it in general. I've been kind of hit and miss with tracking my food. I'm always mindful of what I'm eating, but I haven't been the best with tracking my food. I've been really still focused on protein, but because I hadn't tracked, I wasn't sure if I hit my protein goal. Sometimes life happens and our weight loss journey has to go on the back burner. And unfortunately for me, I'm rounding out my eight week cut. I'm actually starting week eight today of my cut. So it's not the ideal time to be sick. It's not the ideal time to not track my food. But like I said, sometimes life happens and I have to worry about taking care of my health more than I have to worry about tracking my food. I will share my weigh in of course for the week with you. And as a reminder, last week I actually gained a pound post my vacation. So we're gonna talk about how that translated into my weigh-in this week and the fact that I haven't tracked my food, maybe haven't eaten my normal foods this week and haven't gotten in all my workouts. We're going to see how that impacted my weigh-in. But 
before we do, let's quickly chat about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is a new way to respond to setbacks. Now this topic is perfect because this whole week has been one big utter setback for me. One big utter setback for me. It's been one thing after another with not feeling well and not tracking my food and not being able to taste my food and not being able to exercise. It's been multiple setbacks and it can be really discouraging when we encounter so many setbacks. They're totally normal, but it's hard not to beat ourselves up and it's hard to get away from the setback and get back into a healthy routine. So here's some things that we can try that are new when we encounter a setback. Number one, imagine your friend fills down because she went over her point or calorie budget. What would you say to her? What tone would you use? Number two, now imagine you feel down after doing the exact same thing. What would you say to yourself and what tone would you use? Number three, is there a difference between your two responses? If so, why? How would it sound if you talk to yourself like a friend? Would you ever lecture a friend who says they went off track or tell them they're a failure or they're never going to lose weight, they're never going to reach their goals? You probably wouldn't say that. So why would you say that to yourself? We need to make sure that we're talking to ourselves just like we would talk to a friend. We tend to be our friend's biggest cheerleader, so why not be your biggest cheerleader? When we talk badly to ourselves, when we think negative thoughts, when we bring those negative thoughts into the universe, it can really derail our overall progress. When something happens in our life, for example, getting sick and we're like, well, now I can't work out, my food doesn't taste good, I'm not gonna track my food, forget it, I'm just gonna throw in the towel. Would you tell your friend that if your friend came to you and said, hey, I'm not feeling very well this week? No, you would help her navigate through that to still be successful in her weight loss goals. Thinking about how you talk to yourself moving forward can really help you overcome setbacks in a more positive, effective way. Give yourself grace. Treat yourself like you would treat a friend. As always, I have three really good fast facts from Weight Watchers for you. Number one, research shows that tough love makes you less likely to reach your goals. Number two, consistently replacing self-critical thoughts with self-compassion helps you learn to treat yourself more more kindly. And number three, being kind to yourself as you handle challenges has been shown to increase your motivation to keep going. Treat yourself like you would treat a friend. Be your biggest cheerleader. I promise you, and I promise you from personal experience, I promise you from helping so many of you reach your health and weight loss goals, talking to yourself in a positive way, reinforcing good behavior, learning from setbacks and bringing them into things and bringing those into things that help you be successful is really important to not only lose your weight, but to keep it off long term. Give yourself grace and talk to yourself just like you would talk to a friend. Like I said, this topic is perfect timing because I have been beating myself up a little bit this week. I've been beating myself up because I had a bit of a gain last week. I've been beating myself up because I haven't been able to work out. I've been beating myself up because I haven't been eating like normal. Honestly, I haven't been on the scale very much this week. I'm a daily weigher, but I just haven't been up to it because I just I have been so focused on trying to get better that I really had to put my cut and my weight loss journey on the back burner. And it's okay to do that when life happens. It's okay to do that when you encounter a setback. What you have to do is once you start feeling better or once you've navigated that setback, just get back on track. And in the process, talk to yourself in a positive way so that when you overcome that setback, you can get right back to reaching your weight loss goals. To be completely honest with you, I haven't gave a single crap about my cut this week. And that's the full transparency. I have not cared at all what the scale says. I have not cared about maintaining a cut status. I have not even cared or thought about my cut at all. I've been really just focused on improving my health so that I can get back to my normal routine. But I did decide to go ahead and step on the scale this morning just to kind of have a starting point moving into this next week in hopes that I'm feeling back to normal. And when I got on the scale today, I weigh exactly the same as I did last week. So I maintain my weight, which means that that pound of weight gain was most likely a true weight gain from my vacation. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay gaining a pound. I enjoyed myself on my vacation. I haven't been my normal self this last week. So I'm okay with that. Be, I'm okay with being a pound up. I'm still down overall during my cut period. And really, truly, a pound is nothing to me. Once I get back to normal, I should be able to get right back to my normal weight. And like I said, I maintenance is a range, not a number. And I'm well within my maintenance range. So truly, with everything going on, I, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled with having a maintenance. I'm okay with having a one pound gain overall from my vacation because, like I said, I enjoyed every single minute of my vacation. I'm honestly feeling feeling really good about my body. I'm feeling really good about my health and my fitness. I mean, even being sick this week at boot camp, I still killed it. I still was able to get in my full workout. I'm so proud of myself for getting 
in my workouts and not letting not feeling well derail me overall. So I'm okay with where I am. I'm okay with the maintenance. I'm looking forward to this next week and hopefully feeling better. And of course, in next week's weigh-in, next week's weigh I will be giving you the final results, results of my cut. I'll be inserting some pictures because even though the scale hasn't changed a lot, you may be shocked at the photos from the beginning of my cut to now. You know I always say that the scale is really the least important thing to me anyway. The scale is the least important measurement of success for me. The photos, the measurements, the way my clothes fit, my health, my endurance, my athletic ability definitely outshines any number on the scale. So I'm excited to share with you the end of my cut and what I'm going to be doing moving forward. I want to hear from you. How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Do you talk to yourself in a positive way or do you talk to yourself in a negative way? And maybe these tips and tricks will help you treat yourself a little bit more like a friend. I'm definitely going to be utilizing these tips for myself. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because like I said, I do a weigh-in every single Friday and you're not going to want to miss the end results of my cut as well as five videos every single week. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Here's to a super fun weekend and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.